Hi everyone. The reason why I'm dubbing this video is because when I made this so I was very depressed. Uh, I won't go into it. Um, I made a separate video about depression and about my past and things, but I'm not going to put it on the soaping video. It's n not the right place for it. <laughs> this is for making soap and other goodies. But I'm fine now. Uh, for me. <laughs> it's true. So what I'm going to be making here is a wood grain soap and I'm using several different items here. So let me break that down on the screen for you. So I'm really trying to achieve a wood grain, but not a dark wood grain, but a sort of a mid-range wood grain. The reason is because I have accidentally created wood grain <laughs> several times when I wasn't even trying. Now I'm trying. Now whether or not I achieve that, I don't know. So I've just begun adding the lye to my frozen goat milk that's in my ice bath as always. I'm wearing my cheapy plastic gloves because they're the only ones that fit my weird hands. <laughs> and they work for now. So my goat milk, my sea salt, and my lye are completely combined now. They are at the perfect temperature. They never went above 70 degrees, which I love. Keeps that goat milk nice and creamy. And next I'm going to be mixing it into my oils. Now, you may have noticed, I don't worry too much about air bubbles. I've done this for a very long time and only on rare occasion have I had an air bubble that you know bothered me and generally that's only when the soap seizes up and you end up with big pockets uh, so it's not from air. Uh, on rare occasion there's a little tiny hole here or there it just doesn't bother me and if it bothers you well, I understand, and I will bang your soap down really hard <laughs> to get those air bubbles out. But most of the time, I just don't take any super precautions. I don't pour it down the stalk of my blender. Not that there's anything wrong with that. If that works, that's fantastic. I've just added in my cedar wood and my sage essential oils. And it smells wonderful. I know I say that a lot. I can't help it. It's one of my favorite parts of soap making. They're all my favorite parts, I guess. This to a very light trace. And I'm now going to divide it up. And I'm just going to be doing an in the pot swirl. Because usually the wood grain looks that I've got before were accidental doing this very thing. So I'm hoping for a very similar result, but with better colors. Colors that are more wood-like. And I know going in, they don't look much like wood colors, but I have faith. Because when I was stirring this, I thought, I put too much rose clay in. But then I thought, maybe that'll look really good in this particular, because with this dark alkanet, the walnut, and the other colors, I, which will lighten, I think this will add a really nice accent. 
and it's not supposed to be exact. There are actually ways to get real wood grain colors and tones, but I like sort of doing impressionistic design. That's what people say who can't do the real thing and just come close. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. Now's the time to mix it up. And I will tell you in advance, I did kind of muddy it up a bit here, more than I wanted. And I know how it happened. If I had just done this, <laughs> what I'm doing, pouring it in, I think I would have been okay. But what do I do? After I pour it in, I gave it a swish with the spatula, which I don't think it needed. So it kind of muddied the colors a bit. Because you can see, they do enough of that on their own. They don't need any help. And again, using natural colors, this is always a risk. And here is where the offense happens. See, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> it doesn't ruin it. It was just, I know it would have been better had I not done that. And I knew it at the time. As soon as I stuck that in, I thought, oh, you don't want to do that. And what I do on top, see there's a little bit left over there in those smaller containers of the color. So I'm just going to do some dot hearts on top. Nothing too fancy. So I start with the pinkish red color and do some of the dots. And then I'm going to come back with the darker Alcanet, Anato, uh, Walnut, and do some more dots. And I'm just running the skewer through the dots to create some little hearts. It was semi-pseudo-successful. So here you can see it has firmed up and darkened up a bit. And now we get to cut it. I forgot to trim off the end first of this loaf. I don't know how, I just did. So, it's wood grain of kind of a sort. What do you think? I like it. I do. Now, there's the end I didn't cut off. It doesn't look like a lot of the oaks around here, because I've seen their branches enough. I know what they look like. They're usually much darker. But I wanted it to be different, and it is. It smells terrific, too. But I know that this is going to be so luxurious in the bath. And I don't know if you noticed, but I'm making these pretty chunky. Um, I think these are about seven ounces. <laughs> oh, no, I picked up a lisp there. So, yeah, the colors are really coming through. And again, they come through better on camera than they do on my video camera. If I ever do make a little extra on this channel, I will buy a better camera. I can't see it now, quite frankly. That's uh, just on my budget. But someday, I would like a camera that captured the color better, the video camera. 
And I have the very best lighting. There's nothing wrong with the lighting. It's just this camera and I have adjusted settings on it. I've changed the focus. I've changed the shutter speed. I've messed with the f-stop and all kinds of different things. And it still doesn't get the color perfect. And that bothers me because you're not really seeing what I see. So hopefully in the photos, you get a better idea. You know, I always have a photo at the beginning and the end and in the thumbnail that hopefully gives a better reflection of what they truly are. So I want to thank you all so much. You're just wonderful. If you haven't subscribed already, please do give me a thumbs up and leave a comment because I have a question. What's your favorite tree? Hmm? I would love to know. Thanks so much, everyone. Have a terrific weekend and check back tomorrow. I've got another video I'm going to be uploading. Goodbye.